Hi everyone, this is Basic Oil Field Math Part 3. My name is Tuyas Bamithili. This course will focus on capacity. Part 1 and Part 2 focused on area and volume. So those two courses just help to build up on what this course is going to mainly discuss. So um, I hope you gain as much as you can. So I'm going to start with the table of contents, we're going to discuss capacity, just basic capacity, um, explain what that is in detail, single string capacity, whole capacity, capacity of a mixed string, analog capacity, and how to determine the height of a fluid in a column or in what any particular string you might have. So let's start with your capacity. So in all full terms, capacity is just defined as the volume of fluid required to fill an open hole, a pipe, a tubing, or a casing. So these objects are, are usually in, the, in a cylindrical form. And the volume of a cylinder is what is derived. Um, these formulas are derived from the volume of a cylinder. So it can usually be expressed in barrels, cubic feet, and gallons. Those are the three I'm familiar with. So you can obtain them by using your field data book, either Halliburton Red Book, Cementing Tables. Slumber J has a um, field data book. Um, I think Baker Hughes, Magnum Oil Tools. So many um, oil and gas service companies have their own data books. But the one I'm most familiar with, familiar with is Halliburton Cementing Tables. So you can either use the tables to find the capacity factors um, or you can use these equations, right? Barrel per foot, cubic feet per foot, and gallon per foot. And these, this is this, these are your capacity factors that can be found from any of your field data books. But I'm gonna stick with this equation for the essence of this exercise. I'm gonna use the barrel per foot factor. And one thing to consider with um the field data book is there's so many other considerations. Maybe your couplings. Um. You know, the weight of your fluid, there's so many things you have to consider. So for the exercise of, the exercise, like, uh, of this exercise, like I mentioned, we're going to focus on viral per foot factor using this equation. So one thing to consider is do represent the inner diameter in inches, excluding the capacity of a hole. So the capacity of a hole is the capacity of a hole. So do not go into, if you have the red book or if you have like a data book, don't go into the capacity don't try to find a capacity factor for a casing, which which will give you the capacity using the inner diameter. Use the capacity of a hole strictly, which will give you the diameter of the hole. So these are just some volumetric equivalents for like calculations if you want to change from one unit to the other. Uh, I think this is pretty helpful if you have to um, change units for any reason or any particular problem. So let's start with single string capacity. So what is the capacity of a string? 278 inches, 6.5 6 pound per foot tubing, um, and 7,000 feet long. So we understand that, um, we understand what this means inches and this means pounds because we discussed that in the area video. So this is your tubing. This is my, you know, made up diagram. This is my well head. This is my tubing right here. Um, so I have two seventy eight inches, sixty five pound per foot tubing, and um, with a height of seven thousand. And I just take my barrel per foot factor, um, expressed as zero point zero 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 nine seven one four times v squared. I plug in my number. Remember, inner diameter two seventy eight will be two point eight seven five. So you need to get the inner diameter of the tubing in order to calculate its capacity. You square that, multiply it by the height, and you get your answer in barrels. So the capacity of a well, 20, 100 feet deep, um, 7 inch, 23 pound per foot tubing or casing, right? Let's go with casing. So with a height of 2,100 feet. So if it's barrel per foot factor, like what we did in the same question, remember I always take the inner diameter inner diameter 6.33, 6.3662 squared, and multiply that out, I get my answer in barrel. So very straightforward, very simple. Um, shouldn't give you a headache <laughs> because it just basically 
almost similar to the cylindrical formula question. The only thing that's taken into consideration is this is in inches and my answer is in barrel per foot. So now let's discuss whole capacity. So basically oil and gas wells are created by drilling through the earth layer, the earth surface. And once that hole is drilled to the depth of the pay, pay zone, you can case the hole. So case can begin, can begin putting your surface casing, your intermediate casing, your production casing, all that can go forward. So the diameter of the hole is dependent on the size of the drill bit used in that process. And the factors you have to consider is wash out. Maybe I have, um, maybe, you know, I have an obstruction in my well while I'm drilling or when I'm trying to case, so I have, you know, a deep, you know, hole, you know, that get cre actually creates, creates a gap in my hole, or uh, and wall slurring. So, so this factor is, the factors in the field data book as, assume a uniform hole. So most, sometimes you can decide to use a caliper, caliper equipment to get the caliper logs for accuracy. And you basically just get um, the, av maybe you get the diameter of the hole, Maybe for each feet or, or so, so you drill that you drill that down. You, you I mean, say you drill, you run that down, and you get your caliper, caliper log. Um, and once you get that, I think you can just calculate the average diameter of the particular zone, and that will give an accurate number, um, of what you would would want for barrel per foot factor. So what is the capacity? The question is, what is the capacity of a hole fifty five hundred feet deep? with six inch diameter hole, the six inch diameter hole. So I just plug in my six inches, I'll obtain my value, uh, plug in my height, right? Cause I'm trying, this is barrel per foot, I'm trying to get my answer in barrels, multiply by 5,500 foot. And I get my answer 192.3372 barrels. And basically that's the whole capacity, pretty straightforward and simple. Now, capacity of a mixed string. This just means having two or more different size pipes in the well bore. It can be calculated by finding the individual strings and adding them up together. So if I want to obtain my total capacity of a mixed string, we've already discussed it, um, what these mean in the first video, diameter of the small of the large um, cylinder of the large string and the diameter of the small string and we know that this represents ID. Or, or let's say if we had a hole, then okay, it would be the diameter of the hole. But most, of, in most occurrence, if you're dealing with tubing and casing, this would be ID. So I add my total capacity together. I would multiply by my height of my large, my height of my small, and I'll obtain my answer. So this is a problem that says prior to setting a puffer, fluid in the well bore is to be displaced with treated fluid. How many barrels are required to displace the entire column? Giving the following conditions. So um, I have two seven eight six point five pound per foot um, tubing. I have two point two three eight four point seven pound per foot tubing as well. This is five five hundred feet from here to here, and the entire column from the wellhead um, down to where the packer is going to be set is at ninety five hundred feet. So, I just use my barrel equation. I plug in my values, right? So remember, inner diameter of two point eight seven five is two point four four one. I multiply by fifty five hundred feet. I add that to the second um smaller string, inner diameter of um two three eight one point nine nine five squared. Now, your height of your string, right? Of my second string, is gonna be this height minus that height right in order for me to obtain this 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 length just simple subtraction um, when i get the individual barrels or the individual volumes i add them together i obtain my answer which is 94.5 982 barrels you know pretty straightforward so if you have any questions about this particular concept of video you can put that in the comment section so next, analog capacity, and this just represents um, the volume between the hole and the casing ID and drill pipe and tubing OD. 
So it can be calculated using the following equations. We already discussed this. Um, you can find it using the capacity factor, annular capacity factor, times the length of the pipe, or you can use the borrow profit factor. And you, you subtract this time instead of finding total capacity, you find it annular capacity. So you have to subtract um, the diameter of the large string minus the diameter of the small string. But take into consideration we're considering the diameter of the ID of the large string and the diameter of the OD of the small string. So let's just use this example to clarify that. What is the annular volume of a well of 7,000 feet long? 278 inches, 6.5 pound per foot tubing inside a 5.5 17 pound per foot casing. So basically, I just use my barrel per foot factor. I plug in my number. Remember, always ID for the large string and OD for the small string, right? So I subtract that and I multiply by 7,000. That gives me my answer 106.525 barrels. You know, pretty straightforward. Always take, always remember, OD small string, ID large string, just like what we discussed for the annular um, volume in video two. It's it's the same thing. So just plug those in, and you get your answer. Multiply by seven thousand. Always remember to multiply by the height to get your barrels. How much volume? Or let you just be left with your factor. So last um, topic in this segment will be height of a fluid. This will be rounding up basic oil field math. Um, this will be the last topic. So let's 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 discuss it. it just um, height of fluid just means um, this section will help us in determining the fluid level after a certain volume of fluid has been added to the well bore. So if I add a certain amount of fluid to the well bore and I want to calculate my new height, how do I go about it? So I, again, you can use your basic. Um, um, height factors from your field data books or you can use any one of these equations any one of these equations are helpful so you can get your height factor feet per barrel or you could basically um yeah your data book will give you these factors in feet per barrel as well depending on the casing or the tubing or the drill pipe so um, I use this equation 1029.4 divided by the diameter squared. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to focus on barrel per foot um, as my equation. But in this segment, I'm going to use um, feet per barrel. And yes, always again, where di diameter, where D represents the inner diameter of the pipe. So the equation to, or the formula to take into consideration is new fluid level is equal to original fluid level minus the height factor times the volume right so i'm going to subtract my original fluid um my original fluid level minus um the height factor times the volume that will give me the height um that i need to, in order to calculate my new fluid level so i just have a basic example here simple straightforward a well to seven eight inches 6.5 pound per foot tubing with a level of with a level at 10,000 feet. So I basically I pumped down some fluid right and it stopped here at 10,000 feet. I put my fluid here. Then I'm asking where would the fluid level be if I added 40 barrels of fluid to my well bore. So I added 40 more barrels to my well bore. That's this green. This is my new fluid I pumped in. So the question is, where is this level? Where is my new level? So the solution to take into consideration, feet per barrel, um, I take my, and that will give me this, you know, because I'm giving my, my, my factor or my, you know, number given is in barrel. So I can easily find my answer in feet to be able to find what height, what is this height? So, I mean, basically to give you this height, actually, to give you, this would be to zero, and this will be its bottom, right? So it will give me this height as my 40 barrels. So if I divide that by the inner diameter, 2.441 squared, uh, and I multiply that by 40 barrels, that will give me my height from here to here. So it's basically saying my hair, height from here to here is 6,911 feet.
Now, in order to calculate my new fluid level, I take my original fluid level, which is 10,000, right? And I subtract it by the factor I just found. The volume factor, which gave me the feet. Uh, I just subtract that and I get my answer, which is 3,000, um, 3,088.95 feet. And that's just basically how you go about finding the height of your fluid. Um, if you have any more questions or you want more questions on this, I can definitely put some in the in the video on my blog, which is petrobasics.com. So um, if you have any questions, comments, please put them down. I'll be glad. I'll be glad to um, answer them.